As it's my birthday today, I decided that I would enjoy a couple of my favorite things. One is snuggling on the couch with the puppies, and two is enjoying a nice cup of tea in one of my favorite teacups. So I uh, got out my teacup and I made myself a cup of tea, and uh, I'm just enjoying some, uh, some me time on the couch with the puppies uh, this morning. And uh, this week has been a kind of interesting week. I, it's one of those weeks where you find that you feel like you've gone one step forward and three steps back. And we didn't get as much completed as we'd hoped to this week, but we have completed some really quite fun stuff, including the, van the gold detail on the vanity, um, which I was working on yesterday. And uh, that's looking really, really good. And then we've had some little adventures too. We uh, even had some glass in our window blow out this week. So um, it, all in all, it's been quite an interesting week. I've been waiting what seems like such a long time to start this job. And today I'm working on adding my gold accents to my vanity for the bathroom in the ensuite. And I've come across this product, it's this little jar, it's called Posh Chalk Pigment. And um, you can see inside, it's just this very, very fine gold um, powder. And uh, I'm actually using it, um, and you mix it with a little bit of top coat which I have here, and it kind of turns, you can see here, let me show you here, can you see this? It kind of almost turns into liquid gold. And so as I stir it with the top coat, you can see that it comes this beautiful gold color, um, and it's, it's so rich. I'm actually really surprised at how beautiful it's come up. So I've got, now I've mixed some here. I'm going to now get, get that all mixed in properly. I'm gonna now get my uh, small brush and I'm gonna apply it onto the detail on my vanity. So I'm using uh, another dry brush. I don't want too much on here because I'm actually gonna put the gold onto this detail. So I'm almost kind of dry brushing it so, um, as I don't want it to be too thick. Um, so let's see how this works. Oh my gosh, it's looking great. I, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because these products are designed to work, right? But when it's the first time you've used them, I always wonder if I'm doing it right, if there's uh, a technique that I should know about but this is looking quite lovely. out just beautifully I'm so excited it just looks great so I'm gonna add uh, continue to add that uh, gold onto some other places um, to make it a, a nice simple design um, but one that will be quite stunning it almost looks like gold leaf that I've painted on it's quite amazing I think this, uh, this gold paint may now be my new best friend. So I've decided that I'm gonna try and put a little on these um, edges around the uh, door, where the doors will be. Um, so let's see what that looks like. I have my uh, trusty glasses because unfortunately uh, my sight, I guess I'm getting old. I can't see as close as I used to be able to see. The one thing about this is you definitely need a steady hand. So 
I've also decided that I'm actually going to paint uh, this edge uh, around the top of the vanity um, just to give it some a little bit of detail on the top um, and then it will have the gold on the doors and then when I put it all back together again I'll see whether I feel as if it needs a little bit more detail or whether that's enough. I want to keep it fairly simple because I love this damask pink and I want the gold to be an accent but not too um, overpowering. I want it to be quite simple. So I'm going to paint this and we'll see how that looks. I feel like I'm painting liquid gold onto the dresser. The finish is so pretty and it almost has that kind of old antique look like you almost uh, gold leafed it. It's, um, it's a beautiful finish. So I've painted the top edge in the gold and I have put a little detail into the front in between where the doors will go. So there'll be a little bit of detail on each side of the doors and in the middle here. And then obviously the detail is just gorgeous on the actual doors and they've come up beautifully. Uh, so I can't wait now to get the doors put back on and uh, I'll now get the drawers put in place and then I can decide whether I feel like it needs any more detail added. So this morning we woke up and found that our window had actually blown out. It's been so windy last night uh, that our window at the top here that was being held together by tuck tape uh, smashed open and uh, it blew out. You can see all the pieces of glass here at the bottom and uh, the big sash that hadn't, uh, we hadn't actually completely uh, put back in. It was just uh, standing in the window. Um, thankfully, it didn't. We caught it just before it, it kind of uh, toppled out of the window. So we were not expecting the uh, winds to be quite so strong. And so now we have a room that has no window at all. So we're now gonna have to find something to uh, cover the window up and get it sealed. We found some plywood to cover it for now and we learnt the lesson that tuck tape is not strong enough to hold glass in very, very high winds. But our new glass is coming and so it will soon be weather tight. It's always the finishing details that take the longest and because I'm a little obsessed with detail and to me they're really, really important. The small details make the big difference. So it's really important for me to get the details right so I don't wanna just rush things in and just throw anything in. I actually take the time to re really research the history of the house and what would work for the period of the house but also we wanna mix in that mod, the modern mod cons. So one of the things that is really important in our en suite is that there's enough light when you're doing your makeup. And now, as a woman, you will know that if you go to um, stay anywhere and the light is terrible to put makeup on, it's so frustrating. So it was really important that we had a mirror in that bathroom that had really good light. And so we found this mirror that actually has an LED light around the edge Oh, it's actually built in, it's quite clever, it's got the little switch in there, um, actually on the glass, and, but it looks very modern. So we want to be able to provide those, that, that light and that kind of modern convenience, but we don't want it to look brand new. So we came up with this idea that with a mirror like this, we could actually put a frame around it um, to make it look very vintage. So it kind of looks like a picture on the wall. And uh, so we started looking for a frame. Now, um, obviously the mirror is a certain size, 24 by 36, so it was, or 32, anyway, um, either way, it was a specific size and uh, so we were finding that we just weren't finding the right size and then all of a sudden this week, we were offered and given a frame that is exactly the right size. And it's kind of, I'm always blown away when things like that happen. And you're like, oh my gosh, it was meant to be. Um, so a very good friend of ours gave us this frame. So we're taking obviously the picture out. And this uh, beautiful vintage frame is gonna go around our mirror on the wall. So now we have a beautiful mirror that has a lovely light and is great for doing makeup and has all the modicons. 
but it has that kind of period vintage feel. So I'm very, very excited. We just got this um, and we just picked up the mirror. So I've just got them out to look at them and um, now we can kind of put the two together and get them on the wall and uh, have a look at exactly how it's gonna look. My chandelier rack has been getting some good use this week as I have built another chandelier that we're planning on using in the dressing room. It's just a beautiful piece and I just can't wait to see it up. So I'm gonna finish my cup of tea and spend a bit more time on the couch with the puppies. And I think I might replace the tea with a little bit of champagne later this evening. It's one of my favorite things is to serve champagne in teacups. So I think uh, as it's a, a special day, uh, we might open a bottle of champagne and have champagne in teacups tonight uh, to celebrate a little bit. But uh, I will see you next week on our next episode of the Ladysmith Manor Diaries. Mm -hmm.